Today, we're doing a documentary on squirrels. And we're doing our documentary on a particular squirrel. One that lives on my scaffolding all the way at the top here. Let me show you. Over there, over there, over there. That's where he lives. And, and we're going to show you a little bit of clips about other squirrels, their behavior. And we're going to show you some, some information about different kinds of squirrels from different locations. Okay, so enjoy the ride. Oh, I got the little bugger on tape. Here we go, here we go. Look how he gnaws on that piece of wood doing something. I, I don't know what he's doing, but he's, doing, he's mad. What is he doing? He must be sharpening his teeth. Look at him by the Snapple bottle. You can obviously see he's not in his natural environment if he's next to a Snapple bottle. Here we have the Eastern Gray Squirrel. This is the squirrel predominantly uh, found in urban areas and suburban areas as well. He is the one that uh, he you know, climbs around in the garbage looking for uh, old sandwiches and stuff like that. Here we have a perfect example of a squirrel jumping into the garbage can looking for food. I told you these little bosses they do that. They're scavengers. The urban squirrels don't care. They're like the pigeons. They eat off the excess food that we throw away. That's right. Oh, I think he's eating popcorn. This focus is killing me. Oh, what is he doing? He's going ballistic. Where's he going? Where's he going? Apparently, I don't think it's the squirrel I was trying to study. Both these squirrels look similar in color. And, uh, I mean, the other one's a little more gray and his tail is more thin. But this might, actually, that's the little bugger himself. That's him. That is him. There he goes. He's scouting out the place his other friend was at. Obviously, this is more of his territory. Because as soon as he came onto the scene, boom. The other guy left. And as you can see, he's, he's checking out the scene. Smelling any droppings of, of, of anything uh, from the other mate. All right. It's good footage here. That's right. Look at that tail. So fluffy. Ready to be made into a coat. Here's a brief statement about the gray squirrels. The gray and fox squirrels, both common inhabitants of city parks and gardens, are edible small game animals. Oh, I got a really friendly squirrel. Oh, look at this. He's actually right next to the humans, and the humans are feeding him. Look, look how ready he is to eat. Look at that. He's coming closer like a little, little, like a little, like a little dog. Apparently, he's the same kind of squirrel I've been studying. These happen to be the predominant squirrels in this area of Pratt Institute. Oh, where'd he go? Oh, look at him fly. And I haven't seen any red squirrels or other kind of uh, fox squirrels in the neighborhood yet. Maybe they come out at night. I wonder what they were feeding them, but I think they're done. It's great footage. Now I'm gonna show you examples of other squirrels from different parts of the world. Here we have the amazing flying squirrel. Apparently he's flying in the air, jumping from one tree to another. But I don't see any wings on him, so maybe it's not the right one. Here we have the baby squirrels. Look how he licks his ear, searching for little bugs like little monkeys. Here we have a very skinny squirrel. Look at that tail, looks like an S backwards. A very, very skinny squirrel. Look how skinny he is. He doesn't even look like a squirrel. And here we have a poor little squirrel hanging on for his dear life from a tree by its mouth. And here is the, uh, it's just a drawing of a squirrel holding the, this is the mushroom squirrel. Here we have an eastern fox squirrel. They're found in suburban areas. And, um, that's it. He's still eating. Now, I'm knocking on his home. Hoping to get a response. Maybe he'll come through this crack here and say hello. Hello. I think he stood still at the fear from this new intruder I have become. I proceed to the top view. I'm here now at the squirrel's apartment. Apparently, he's not here. But I want to get a closer view as to the way he lives compared to other squirrels. Well, as you can see behind me, 
You have a lot of pollution. You have uh you just have a lot of pollution. And here we can see more of his place of where he lives, of his inhabitat. And down some more, you have more of uh, more pollution. As you can see, as we go further down the scaffolding, we have various objects of pollution here. And they've been here for quite some time, but he still manages to survive. I got, look, oh, look, there he is. I got the square. He's running away. He must have been seeing me walking down, staying there. Obviously, since he's, he's camouflaged with these kinds of things. Aren't they adorable? Oh, he's eating a banana peel. They scoff for anything. Survivors, these squirrels. Hey, if I ever turn back in another life, I want to be a squirrel. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our show. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves, and I hope you've learned something about squirrels, because I sure have. To me, squirrels, it's just like, just like people trying to survive in this crazy, crazy world, eh? And in the process of me looking for squirrels, uh, I found me 35 cents and the ring, which now makes me lord of the squirrels. <laughs> well, this is the Squirrel Hunter, coming to you from Sin Slap Entertainment. And I'll see you next time on more squirrel hunting. <laughs>